Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem by simplifying square root of square root of 225 plus square root of 60 plus square root of 84 plus square root of 140. So it will be equal to this square root of square root of 225, it is 15, then plus square root of 60 is same as square root 60 it is 4 times 15 then plus square root of 84 it is this square root of 84 is same as 4 times 21 then plus this square root of 140 is 140 is same as 4 times 35 then it will be equal to square root of 15 then plus square root we separate here so it will be square root of 4 times square root of 15 so square root of 4 times square root of 15 then plus we separate also in here to be square root of 4 times square root of 21 times square root of 21 then plus here it will be square root of 4 times square root of 35 so square root of 4 times square root of 35 then it will be equal to square root of this which is 15 then plus square root of 4 it is 2 then times this square root of 15 plus square root of 4 is 2 times this square root of 21 then plus square root of 4 is 2 times this square root of 35 then in the next step it will be equal to square root of 15 then plus into here 2 is common so we take 2 out of bracket this divided by 2 it is this square root of 15 whereas square root of 15 is same as square root of 3 times 5 then plus this divided by 2 it is this square root of 21 square root of 21 is same as square root of 3 times 7 then plus this divided by 2 it is this square root of 35 square root of 35 is same as square root of 5 times 7 then bracket then in the next step it will be equal to square root of this 15 plus 2 then bracket here we separate it will be square root of 3 times square root of 5. So square root of 3 times square root of 5. Then plus, also in here we separate. It will be square root of 3 times square root of 7. Then plus, also in here we separate. It will be square root of 5 times square root of 7. Bracket. Then in the next step, from this expression here under the square root, we'll apply the break rule in this form. So the algebraic rule, which it will be a plus b plus c bracket square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square, then plus 2 bracket a b plus a c plus b c bracket. Then when you compare this, these two bracket square root of 3 square root of 5 plus square root of 3 square root of 7 plus square root of 5 square root of 7 is in this part we have here 2 2 so a b it is this square root of 3 square root of 5 a c it is this square root of 3 square root of 7 so a is equal to this square root of 3 and b is equal to this square root of 5 and c is equal to this square root of 7 then from here the a square a square is equal to the square of this square root of 3 it is 3 and this b square b square is equal to the square of square root of 5 it is 5 and this c square c square is equal to the square of square root of 7 is 7 then the sum of this plus this plus this which is a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 3 
plus 5 plus 7 which is equal to 3 plus 7 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 whereas this 15 it is this the sum of a square plus b square plus c square which is this one 15 so this ex this expression under the square root is in this form which is also equal to this form so it will be this equal to because this is also equal to this form so it will be square root of this algebraic form this part which is a plus b plus c then bracket square then in the next step it will be equal to square root of this which is bracket a a a it is this square root of 3 so square root of 3 plus b square root of 5 plus c square root of 7 then bracket this square bracket then in the next step this square root will cancel with this square so it will be equal to this which is square root of 3 plus square root of 5 plus square root of 7 therefore this is the simple form of our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye